So all we are actually requesting our members of parliament, the National Assembly, is to give strength or to strengthen these existing institutions and uh, push them to do their mandate uh, and allow them to be, to be able to comment on these matters with a lot of information rather than making matters GM very emotional. Uh, we have a total of seven food groups. Uh, I talked about milk and milk products, fruits, vegetables, those are three food groups. Eh? Then breads, cereals and tubers. Then we have meats and meat alternatives. Then we have fats and then we have sugars. That constitutes seven food groups. Up to now, there is only one major food group that has been affected by, for example, GM, which is maize falling within the, uh, and also the cassava. So if you look at it, um, most of our indigenous foods are not affected. From the studies which is known, uh, the, the human which are monogastrics, uh, they can, uh, this, particular G, this particular BT maize is, doesn't affect them, but it, it is mainly used in uh, insects whereby it, this, this compound is a protein and it is actually a, a biological pesticide which is used to control stock borer in, uh, in, in the fields. And uh, this is what has been done by scientists, they are, especially the agronomists or the biotechnology scientists. They have taken this particular gene and they have put it in, uh, in maize and therefore so that they, the farmer can get more yield from, from the, from the, uh, so that the crops are not attacked by stock borer. But in terms of safety, the data we have, the data that is available from the public domain in uh, peer-reviewed journals does not show anything which is adverse, which can be of uh, health effects to either man or a, any mammal. Scientists say it is good, and other visitors come from all over the world to visit Kenya. The moment they land here, they say, oh, so and so and so is suspected of bringing matters that will reduce the population of this country. Those are myths and discussions. But as, as you have asked rightly, we need to strengthen communication, bring down what we talk in sciences to the ordinary persons, bring down what we talk even to the local dialects, Kiswahili and some other languages that farmers can understand. The assurance made, I think, by my colleague from Must was very clear. There is no, no danger to the indigenous, traditional foods that we actually use. Science is zeroing only in a few crops, and in particular on maize, and that has not been released for use up to this particular time. It's research, you do research and research and research before you come to a conclusion. And that research must be supported by other researchers worldwide in your own discipline. That instead of every time, every time using this very bacteria, either to spray or using the bacteria, you know, or soil to spray it and all that, the best way is to identify the gene and then move the gene into the maize. That is what, when you move that gene that we naturally eat, then you put it in the maize. At that particular point, maize is drought uh, is is um, insect protected, and because of that, that maize will now be called GMO or BT maize because in its genome we have put the gene which we have picked just from a soil-borne bacteria that exists naturally. You know the the same mechanism we do when we, you know, immunize our kids against particular diseases. You inject them with these vaccines, it now runs, it means their blood are actually, the, the bloods in quote, are producing antibio, uh, antibodies that will target that particular pathogen when it attacks. Even this one, in the maize sap, in its what I would call the blood equivalent of maize, it means that toxin will just be in the sap there. So if that um, uh, Sembora eats the maize, is when it is affected. The one that doesn't eat the maize is just okay. And our gut is not affected. The same way we take drugs to kill specific cells is the same way this is also specific for just those pests. It has nothing to do with our gut. It can't kill us because we eat that bacteria anyway naturally.